What's up dorks and dorkettes? Welcome back to another cleaning for console related stuff. Today we're doing a controller. So if you're seeing this and you're on the live, it is currently Monday, October 24th. I'm cleaning this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you all the ways I clean a controller to get it ready. I usually resell things, so the way that I do it is I'll clean stuff and I'll get it ready to post. So this is what I do to clean my controllers. I test them, make sure, so you'll see me clean it, test it, all that good stuff. I'll open it up, look inside, all that. You don't need to do all that, but I do, so that's what we got. So what I'm gonna start with is just really basic stuff. I always get just, what's up? Paper towel, get it slightly damp, and then I just go over top of the actual controller itself and get, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna make sure it flashed. So you always can check if it's got some juice in it, if it'll flash, which is good. Got this from my boy Gio, so shout out to him. So, I'm just going over stuff right now. Nothing insane, nothing crazy, but it helps to get that first layer of dirt and grime up. So that way I can use my microfiber cloths after this, but I don't like using them initially because it takes all the gunk and it just transfers it to it, which is what they're supposed to do. But if you can get most of it up in a paper towel and then just pitch it, that's so much better. Cause then you gotta wash those specially. You gotta get those specific wash for that. So already it's looking a lot better from that. It's flannel season, I have no idea. I don't know any flannels. What's up, Tuck? So we got this. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna hit it with some rubbing alcohol and Q-tips. That's gonna be the main way to hit these. These guys need the rubbing alcohol and Q-tips. Make sure they're so little in here that I really have to aggressively tip it to get any of the um, rubbing alcohol. So first thing I do is I always start high. So I'm gonna do my analog sticks. Because anything that I knock off from this is going to go down below it. So what you don't want to do is clean down below. And then anything that you're cleaning is going to get pushed down. So if you start low and go high, you're just going to be recleaning stuff you've already cleaned. So I'm also moving. So this joystick, you can see that? That was just from in the kind of grooves. So if I want to get down here, what I can do is push up, which is going to move it to expose as much of this kind of part that it sits in, the kind of ball part of the analog stick. And then as I go, I push the analog stick the opposite direction of what I want to clean. So that lets me maximize the surface area that I'm getting cleaned. And then I dry it. So I'm gonna dry this top part as much as I can, which is good. Cool. And then same thing with drying it. The good thing about rubbing alcohol, it dries rapidly. So it'll dry anyway, but this is just another way to pick up even more dirt. So I always opt to do that just because why would you not want to make it a little bit cleaner? You know, if you're already spending the time cleaning it, you may as well do it right. So see that, that one we've already got done. Not self-explanatory? How is it not self-explanatory? Yep, I cleaned the PS4 yesterday, so this is a controller. So I'll throw this one on YouTube too. A lot of people have asked me about cleaning certain things, so I just figured it'd be nice to post a little series on there. That way people can learn kind of how to clean their stuff. I'll do some Xbox stuff too when I get those in for selling. Those sell so much worse but I'll get one or two in just so I can show people. It'll take a minute to move them though. <laughs> it's crazy how much harder it is to move Xbox stuff. Okay. I can't speak on new gen though, but like Xbox One S and One X, no one buys the One X. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. Wherever I want to clean, the analog sticks going the opposite way. That really lets me get in to the grooves. Then you can see there's a little bit kind of here, this area. You're going to want to go in with it. You can hit that. Our friend to show up. Raspberry. Yeah, we'll see. We've got a bit, of a, ooh, a bit of a headache, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this. I went back and forth on it and just laid there with my head in my hands, and I'm like, I'll try it. So, 
I'm just going around, getting this where I can. But yeah, you can see I'm picking up some stuff from it. It's not terrible. Uh, uh, you can fix stick drift. I'm not smart enough to know how, but this sometimes can fix it. Though, obviously, it might not just be caused by something like this. This could be a reason for it, though. So if you want to try and clean your controller, it might fix your stick drift. I've seen it happen. But not all stick drift is caused by just dirt. You know what I mean? So, I'm just getting along the analog stick right now. So we got that. So now what I'm going to do, pitch that, get a new one, go here, party Monday. Yeah, it's worth a shot. You won't hurt it, you know what I mean? So then, same thing like with the analog sticks, you see here, if I push down on the D-pad, the top part comes up, it all is connected and follows. So if I want to get the top part, I'm going to push down on the bottom part so it lets me get under it. Because again, if stuff starts sticking, you're gonna want to get as deep in this as you can to clean it. And you really don't have to take the shell off to be able to clean it. If you need to take the shell off to clean the buttons like that, it probably is not salvageable, I've found. Or it's gonna take a lot of labor and manpower and all that. But how are we doing? And I go just between them. So right now I'm just getting what I can get surficially, but I'm definitely not done going for deeper cleaning on these guys. So, again, I'm just trying to move the D-pad so I can get as far down as I can to clean this. And we should be solid. Push on the touch pad. Nice. Get all that. And kind of in the grooves. Same type deal. It's already looking a lot better, but we still got a ways to go. But I just try to kind of hit areas that I see on the controller as it starts to get a little more used for the Q-tip and all that. It's my last name. There you go. Yeah, taking the shell off can help too. No, you didn't miss it, Ethan. You missed the console cleaning yesterday, but the controller cleaning is today. And we got way too many mods. We do not need more mods. I almost took everyone off as mods because there were so many, but we have it just in case. We had a need for it in the past, but now we really don't. So I'm just going around the buttons and then it helps to kind of push down and in on the button because look what I was able to get up by doing that. That dislodged that little part. So we got that. So that was nice. And again, I'm going between the buttons and around the buttons. You got to think there's different parts where it makes contact, right? So wherever the button is actually going to possibly get stuck is where you want to try to get the rubbing alcohol. So like right here too, I'm going to push down on the R2 button and it'll let me get in that area, right? So we'll get that. Perfect. Nice. That looks good to me. Underside, bottom, fine, got that. Cool. Then, underside the other one. It can be a bang up job first pass, and then second is where you get more of the detail, but right now I'm just trying to take any sort of dirt, debris, stuff that's clumped and readily available for me to get out then 
I can focus on the minutiae of getting in there and all that good stuff. But so far, this is kind of what we got. It's already looking a lot cleaner, as you can see, which is good. Uh, no, I did not. I was on 150 milligrams of Zoloft and down to 50. So I got this with um, all that, all that good stuff, which we call rubbing alcohol. And then I just kind of go over everything, try to get into little areas and gaps if I can. And then I just quickly dry what I can. That, rinse my hands off of all that. Cool, so that's already a heck of a lot better, man. I'll tell you what. So now here's what we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna get the toothpicks. So the toothpicks, no sir, no CD, just cleaning. So toothpicks, I still got some of that on that. I'm gonna go in the grooves. So first one, I'm gonna start up high and I'm gonna hit the groove that is made by the actual um, analog stick just to get a little bit of stuff that kind of hides in that gap. It's fine. Then I'm gonna go around the actual joystick itself inside. You don't wanna snap this off in there, but if you can see, I'm able to get some stuff from that. What's up, Jenny, how we doing? So we got that and more of that. So we're getting there, man. We are getting there. Yeah, I just I just clean stuff. I don't really know how to fix anything. I'm not bright enough for that. This. Yeah. Okay. That looks solid to me. Cool. Look at that. See that's coming up. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a migraine right now, Jenny. It's kind of funny. I was debating doing this or not, but um, I do want to get this done, so I'm pushing through, but I don't feel too bad. It's helped. I just kind of sat there for a minute with my, my head on the pillow and was like, oh my lord, and then I'm like, you know what? I might be okay. <laughs> I might be able to do this. And again, this is less for cosmetic purposes and more so just for how it functions because any piece of dust or dirt that's in here is going to give it friction gonna make it work harder might cause your stick to stick or anything like that so it won't be smart but then down in the actual d-pad right if you have the ability to get in between these buttons you can get down in there and you can actually pull out whole pieces of dirt and stuff like that, which really helps to be able to get this um, cleaned up and all that good stuff. I actually don't play any games, I just resell them. Because I know people are always looking for them. See, look at that. That's between the D-pad. So it's really helpful for me. Um, get that. What's up, Jackson? How we doing, bro? Got that. This. Yo, look at that. That was all between one button. I know people are like, no, nah, it's not gonna get that bad. It gets that bad, bro. It gets that bad. And this one wasn't even that bad. Straight up, this one's not that bad. I've seen them so much worse. So I try to get almost everything out if I can. Again, there's more of that coming out. So analog sticks, I just use rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip. Those are my mains. Sometimes I'll use a toothpick to kind of get in the grooves itself, like where it kind of gyrates, you know, the ball it sits in. So I'll kind of go that way. 
once I've hit it with the rubbing alcohol and the Q-tip. Um, but yeah, see, I'm pulling out little bits. Um, the old Cheeto dust. The gamer gunk. Yeah, we gotta get this. Yeah, see that's, we got some stuff there. And then we got some stuff here, got some stuff there. It's tough not to break these too much, so I try not to go too hard with any one um, toothpick. But as with anything, you know, a lot of stuff just comes down to how much you want to actually like clean something or how much you actually like care to do it. For me, if it's something for me, I don't care that much, but if it's something I'm gonna be selling to someone, I wanna make sure it's in like better shape than I would buy it in. So I always wanna make sure whatever I sell has the best chance of working how it should work and lasting as long as it should. I don't, I don't like shortchanging people on stuff. So I go overboard for other people's stuff, but not so much for my own, which is fun. You know, I don't really care that much, but I care if I'm giving this to someone, so. Okay, this bottom button, I'm a hit. And then I'll kind of show you guys where we're at, but I'm still pulling stuff up, because that's the thing. So, D-pad, we have a little bit of stuff, but nothing terrible. And then what I do is, if you can see, there's a little bit of stuff here, right on this inside part. I'm able to take, it's not focusing very well. I'm able to take that, scrape that off. I already hit that with a Q-tip. However, you kind of need to almost, think of it like the dentist. It's like a toothbrush and like that scrapey guy they use, kind of like a scalpel. Maybe it is a scalpel, I'm not sure. Um, that they use to kind of like scrape your teeth. I think of it like that. You know, you can brush it and scrape it and all that, but like they do different things. So I am going to grab another microfiber cloth just to help me get in the grooves. I don't like using dish towels for this just because they're a little chunky and this has a lot more grooves and stuff. It's better for something like a console because for the console, it's more blocky. You're not trying to get super deep in there, but you know. Let's see. This is a back fade. No, so this is a different kind of backing. So my friend Gio switched this out. So he had a gold one and a black one, and he flipped them. So he took the top part and put it with the back of a kind of yellow one. So, or like a gold one, I guess. Not so much yellow, it's more so like a gold. It's like a yellowish gold. So the share button and the options button are the hardest ones. They have the smallest area that you can get in. But I just try to run along that. Those are the first buttons to get stuck down, I've noticed. But anything. you like this. So you see this groove on the the you know middle pad that you push down on if i push this toothpick through it and i come through i can get all that out so that ends up working pretty nicely as a means to clean that out because stuff gets kind of down in there so a great way to dig it out is with your toothpick just try not to break your toothpick off in there. You can usually send a, a recon toothpick, <laughs> get it back and all that good stuff. But if you don't have to, obviously, that's more fun to not have to do that or deal with it. So. There. That's solid. Um, I am gonna hit it with another toothpick with some rubbing alcohol on it. Um, yep, you gotta do little phases. I'm just gonna put these on YouTube so people can follow along based on what they're trying to clean. Cause I've had people ask me for different parts. So I'm like, well, what if I do one one night, one another night, and then I put those up so people can reference that, you know? I don't know if it'll help, but 
this. So then we have the little dots right up here where sound comes out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a toothpick in and out of those best I can, trying to get stuff out. You're gonna end up pushing some stuff in, that's okay. You're not gonna get everything out, but just try to open that as best I can. Then hit it with a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol. It's fine. And always remember, there is no such thing as a like new or a, a new controller that has been used. That's not a thing. Unless you buy it brand new out of the box, nine times out of 10, like new is not like new. So don't let someone try to finesse you with something like that. I'll still list this as used. I've had people try to list stuff as new because they cleaned it or something. I'm like, that's so not correct. You've not changed what the item's newness is, you just cleaned it up. They're like, yeah, but it's clean like it's new. I'm like, that's not the same thing. <laughs> Can't just do that. So never lie to make a sale. At least that's how I operate. I know not everyone agrees there. You'll make less money, but you'll feel better. Okay. And some of the people come back to me because of the integrity factor, where they know if something doesn't work, I take it back for a full refund. I'm not gonna shortchange someone. I'm gonna send you video of everything working, photos from every angle, inside of it, outside of it clean, all that. There's different kinds of things that you can do within a space. Cool. Got that. Let me get the triangle button, and then we've got all our buttons. Oh, no, come here. So we're pretty much done with the top. Which is good. I'm going to get the PlayStation button around that. It's always hard to clean that without hitting it, which is fine. Nothing happens. You know, it's not synced up to anything. So sometimes it relaxes. Not a lot. Yeah, please don't do anything political. Just come hang out. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is running. Uh, let's do back so there's this part on the back I'll show you so this is where you hit that it flashes right so yeah I've been sick Joe see I've been sick for a while um, that and then I'll even get in like the L2 L1 R2 R1 and I'll just go through it and pull out a little bit of dirt that sits in those promise you nobody's doing that and nobody's looking at that but again I'm gonna clean stuff as much as I can without putting what I think is too much effort into it and to me I think that's a reasonable amount it doesn't take very long and I'm gonna go around the outline of where the controller itself plugs in where it plugs into the uh, cable to charge that find which side's wet this side is the rubbing alcohol side got that okay go along this side the buttons go over top of those around those again I've already kind of done a crude pass at this now it's a little more in depth right hit this Nice. Okay, so then we're gonna do the R1 and the R2. Hit those fellas.
cool. We're almost done with that. Okay, then I gotta feel. This is the wet side. Go through again, grab these where I can. So now what we're looking at is we've cleaned. Oh, and then I'll do where the uh, where the actual screws sit. I am gonna unscrew it, and it partially helps me be able to open it because if I'm able to get the gunk off it, it helps me get in the grooves of it. So that's what we got. And this. Uh. And then the barcode on the bottom, I try to keep intact as much as possible. Some of them have them removed, but this will tell you model type, all that. Also helps with authenticity. So I just go around it with a toothpick, get up some of the gunk on the tip of it, wipe it. And then that is pretty much good to go. Now I will, go with a toothpick around the screws themselves. These are really clean. Bottom ones usually have any buildup, not so much the top, it's good. And then I start at kind of the corner here and I'm gonna go along tracing this and come all the way. So we take this and see I already got up fair amount of stuff. It'll pop it out sometimes of the groove, your actual toothpick, just put it back in, start where you were. You might need to make a couple passes. And it's weird to kind of get the handle for how much to do, but had that go, I'll do another one, because that one's kind of frayed. Come in the corner, look at all that. My God, that's so much. So that came up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a couple really quick passes just to make sure I got everything in those grooves. Now, ironically, we are gonna take this apart, clean inside too, but, 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 for right now, I just wanna check to make sure that the grooves that I'm going in, I'm cleaning out what we got as best I can. So that way when I open it up, a bunch of stuff doesn't fall inside of it. So there's also the lesser known one it's from here to here and from here to here that you wanna get. Uh, I clean my AirPods sometimes. I just use rubbing alcohol. That doesn't take super long. But I come inside this and just push out any dirt the dirt does accumulate there as well. So again, this just helps with how long your uh, controller is gonna be living for. So I'm not really trying to get anything gunk wise out. I just wanna get a little bit of a damp paper towel on this. Then I'll dry it with the microfiber after doing it with the other half of the paper towel. And this is just to get it any debris that's kind of just sitting on top of it that's kind of blown around for me getting in grooves, then I'm gonna open it. So I'll show you guys what the outside looks like. As of right now, we're done with the outside. The outside has been cleaned. There's nothing on the outside I still wanna clean. None of the buttons feel sticky. The analog sticks feel great. There's no problems with that. I don't see any cosmetic things that I can you know, change. There's really no cosmetic issues, which is good, but Here's what we got. So you can see, shiny, there's no gunk or grime or anything. All that, the back, everything's cool with that. So yeah, we're gonna take the screwdriver and it's a plus, not a star. So what I want, I think it's this size. Yeah, I wanna take these out. I set these up top, get that, put that up top. Same thing up here, take this out, put this up top. 
bottom ones. They're all the same size, which is good. So I don't have to worry about, like for the original PS4, there was uh, two silver and a black one, and the black one went in a different place because it was a different size. Um, all that, and I don't know what my next lab is, to be honest with you. I got a super busy week, so I will be traveling for work tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm highly doubtful I'll do anything on live. Um, I gotta be up at five in the morning, so after this I'm going to bed. Um, so I'm just going in the holes that have been made by the um, vacating of the screws. So then now, you wanna kinda of be careful taking it apart. So some of these are built different than others. This band that separates the L2 and the L1 button sometimes is part of this piece, sometimes it is not, and it's just sitting in these. So this, I'm gonna try to separate and see it looks like it's not part of it, which is good. So I always try to separate towards the bottom if I can first. Don't worry about any noise or anything like that with it. Now there is gonna be a ribbon in there. So this one's actually an easier one to open. So there's gonna be this ribbon, see that? So don't freak out about the ribbon. What happens with the ribbon is it connects up in here. So what I do is I just pinch it at the corner and I pull. So that comes right out. That looks good. So now what we got is, and you might not be able to see it. You see that little piece of metal? It's kind of like a spring that's like that, right? So that helps with these triggers. So I want to make sure I don't knock those out because those help it bounce back. So that's something to just keep aware of if you're going to open up. But now I'm just looking and just tracing over anything with the rubbing alcohol and the Q-tip. No water in here because this is where some of the electronics are, but it's less electronics and more just tight spaces than the actual console itself. So I'm going along the grooves where it connects to the other one. That's gonna be majority of my cleaning. It's gonna be that. Now, sometimes, see, look at that. If they're gonna be a pain to open up, um, what ends up happening is I will sometimes not open up the middle part because you really don't need to do this. I just do it because it's something that I feel like if there's gonna be the chance of something in here that could get lodged as far as like a lot of dirt, dust, debris, whatnot, I wanna get it cleaned up because it, you know, make sure this will probably last longer and it just decreases the risk of this kind of crapping out on you. But I would say it's mainly gonna be surficial stuff like the stuff I was doing with the analog stick, stuff I was doing with the buttons, all that, right? But, yeah, so see, all that came out. It's right there. So, I'm gonna take that. Look at that, it's just from drying it. So, now what I want, tip it. tip too far spill it all over and the outside one you're gonna probably have to go over a couple times just want to trace it right along where it connects and then what we'll do is we'll look to see if there's anything inside that really needs a good cleaning but at this point we've done much of what we were looking to do for cleaning this Cool. See, so we got some of that. Don't be afraid to push in this groove a bit because there is some junk in here that needs to be taken out. Pretty happy with that. And I'm just looking, I'm just seeing, does everything look okay? Is there anything that I think is pretty dirty that needs an extra pass? Not seeing it. So I'm just taking a, a dry Q-tip and going over. And then we're gonna focus on the inside of it. But ironically, you open it up to more so just get the seal. 
because you can only read so much of it with it shut. But if it's a type that has the bar across it, that's part of that outer shell that we took off, that usually is one that I don't want to mess with and take off because it's such a pain to get back. So, take this, clean that. That one's got some junk on it. I'm just getting the underside of the R2 and L2 buttons right now. So the goal being that they don't catch or stick when you press them down. Nice. And keep in mind, I don't know anything about electronics and I'm able to do this stuff. You can learn a lot of really cool stuff on YouTube. I learned from YouTube. I'm posting this on YouTube ironically because I mean, no one really like does it real time type deal, but you also don't really need them to, but sometimes that's nice to have as a reference. So if that's the kind of learner that you are, I hope this helps. Cool. So we'll take that, move it. So much better. And then we're doing the same deal over here. And if you see something that you can't really reach to scoop out, but you want to get out like a little piece of, you know, dirt, whatever, put a little dab of the um, rubbing alcohol on it. And you'll be able to pick it up with that because it'll be slightly damp and you should be able to remove it like that so this is a pretty clean one inside so i'll look at the chat in a second i kind of this is like the more detail part of it so i'm just kind of looking at the little parts and pieces where i can that's awesome i like that so now I want to see a little piece in there I want to try to get if I can. If not, I'm not super worried. Got him. Okay. So here is the inside, what we got. So see, this is nice and clean. And I got all along the grooves, right? So there's that. So now here's what we're going to do, right? You see this? This is the ribbon that ties in the controller that makes these talk to each other so what we're gonna do is this part I'm just gonna take a q-tip get a little bit of the rubbing alcohol on it tilt it to it right a little bit of that so we got this yep sounds good man I will bring it so we got this and I will clean just the inside part because a little bit of it will sit kind of in this groove, which is where, if you think about it, this is how you're holding the controller. So all the dirt's going to settle this way usually. What's up, Naps? So that is what we got. I'm going to pull this as much as I can to get it out and be able to get this free of the dirt. Cool. So again, I'm just hitting it with the Q-tip. I'm kind of using that little area to my advantage. I'm starting high and I'm going lower to knock all the dirt into it. And now I'm just scooping it out of there. So then what I'm gonna do is you see here how there is that discoloration, that dark discoloration, that shouldn't be there. So that is all dirt. So what I'm going to do is take the wet part of the Q-tip over top of it, and that all comes off. So we're going to do that, get that cleaned up. What's your question? Sorry, this is the more, the more in the weeds part, so I'm not looking up as much. So I didn't take the springs out. The springs only come out in some designs easier than others I've found. So if you take it out aggressively, the springs will come out. If you take it off gently, the springs shouldn't come out. So there's different ways that these are put together and almost different like 
versions of controllers, I feel like, where if the bar is connected to this piece or if it's not. So that's what we got. Jennifer Tools, oh no, but yeah, we got that, that's good, got the top part, this, the bottom, That's good. I like that. Heck yeah. Okay. Getting that bottom part cleaned up too. It's always interesting when I wear a white t-shirt to do this because I end up wearing some of this dirt. I'm just like nice. Some controller gunk. Cool. Now I'm going to get just a toothpick because one of these is kind of behind a part that makes it a little hard to get to. So I'm able to get a bit of dirt off. So that's solid. Happy with that. And more of that dirt coming off. Yeah, they get dirty. They do. They definitely get dirty. I'm just using a dry microfiber cloth. It could have rubbing alcohol on it. No harm done if it did, but I don't need it to for this, so I don't. Um, cleaning this off, and these grooves. We're ready to put this back together. So you can see I got all in here, taken, cleaned, everything. So what you wanna do is right here, is where that ribbon will reattach. So you can see where this black line is on this. That's about where to it's gonna be plugged in, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna line it up with this. And then before you close it, it goes one of two ways. So I want to make sure that it's in correctly. It's so difficult to get this sometimes. And these aren't as flimsy as you'd think. Some people are like, oh, they'll rip so easy. They don't, they're tough. But you don't wanna to try to jam it in there because you don't wanna get the end messed up. So. I'm gonna flip it around the other way. Something tells me I had it the wrong way. Yeah, I think I did. So that, I've now reattached it. If you can see, it's in there. So I hit this, and then I hit that. However, notice, nothing's happening. So I have it plugged in the wrong way. So what I wanna do is pull it out, reverse the direction it was going, because that means I had it in the wrong way. And I don't memorize which way it goes in. There's a 50% chance I'll get it. And I'm sure once I was doing these enough, I had it memorized. God, it's such a delicate thing to try to get in, but once it's in. Yeah, see, now it's the right way. So now what I wanna do, I know that my ribbon's incorrect. Now I can shut it. So what you want, is you have your kind of bar here almost. See this little part? This is like a bar. This plastic goes underneath it. So you're gonna slide that underneath and it's going to get situated, but now is the tough part. Or what you wanna do Oh, what's rattling? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me 
make sure I don't have something in there that I shouldn't. Nope, I still got my my springs exactly where they need to be, so I'm not worried. Which is good. Let me see. Yep, I don't hear anything. I always want to watch for those little springs, because those guys are a pain. But I got this down below it. Now I can seal that up how it needs to be. Now, part of the problem is that my boy switched these out. So I wanna make sure that everything fits how it should. There we go. Now it's in. So see, everything's sitting how it should. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it upside down. And I'm gonna take the little screws and you see how there's kind of whitening i need to speaking of whitening look at my fingernails it's disgusting i gotta clean that but there's some whitening on that i'm just gonna clean that off you don't have to do that but that's a little bit of dirt whatever so just because that's gonna be going into the actual controller itself i prefer to have that cleaned up now we're good there's nothing on it so we're gonna put this in any of the little holes we want, just screw it back in. There we go, so we got one in. So we got three more of them. I'm gonna just clean these guys, get these ready. I don't know, sometimes people are talkative, sometimes they're not. There's not a whole lot to say, I guess. But, yep, another one, nice and cleaned up. Put this fella in there. I like to go opposite corners. So I have one top right, I'm gonna put one in top or bottom left. So that way I've got it secured on either side and on the top and the bottom, which makes putting in the other ones good and shows me if everything's lined up. So if everything wasn't lined up, I'd see it all kind of, you know, cattywonkets and all that. So I wouldn't, you know. But everything is nice and lined up with the ridge. It's not protruding up over this. It's in where it needs to be. <laughs> Was that Michael? Michael's in here? Loud. Loudy. So, we're gonna clean that off. Nice. I'll see how long this thing takes to, to do its thing. But if it's quick, I might be able to get it uploaded tonight, but I highly, highly doubt it. What time is it? 8.05? Yeah, I need to be asleep. If I want to get eight hours of sleep, I need to be asleep by nine. So I got 55 minutes to sleep. So, that guy, Discord. <laughs> oh my God. That, let me see, we got one more. We'll do a Discord at some point. I'm down for that. Bro, just press and hold on it. Slash hard chat, hide chat doesn't help. It crashed my phone before, everyone was spamming that. If the analog sticks are not working, um, it's likely not an issue of stick drift and the whole thing is a problem. Everyone said yes. This, so we got that. Thank you, friend, I appreciate it. It'll be a fun day. It'll be more driving than it will be actual work at the site. It's one of those. Getting there takes longer than doing the work. We're all sealed back up. So this is the final product. So you can see. There we go. So, yeah. Um, the Discord, anyone can join, and I'm gonna get the corner of this slightly damp. I'm gonna go over the controller just one more time. Last little finishing touch of anything that might have fallen on it or whatnot. Um, but yeah, there's the Discord is in my bio. It's just, you know, there's a general where you can just hang out, whatever. And then there's also a live notifications channel where if you just wanna know when I'm live and stuff, you can mute everything else. There's not a lot of channels. I think it's general and then that. 
Um, and then I just post on there, I'm like, hey, I'm going live. Because that was our kind of workaround. The reason we made it was because people don't really know when you're live on TikTok. So we did that as a workaround to be like, you know, how do we know? That's how. So if you want to know when lives are and stuff, feel free to join that. And I post in there when I'm going live. But I want to get a little bit underneath. Ah, so I found something that I neglected, which is the very underside of the analog sticks, which actually have some junk on them. So what I'm gonna do is a little bit, if L2 doesn't work, um, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to fix these, to be honest. I just clean them. Cleaning them, I know, increases how long they work correctly. Look at that, that's underneath the actual uh, what's up, Blue? The actual um, analog stick itself. Bro, look at that. It's just under that analog stick. That's crazy. That's crazy. So we're going to go under that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Big fan of that. Perfect. So that's the underside of it, all taken care of. I'm gonna do another one, because that one was so bad. I'm gonna do another one for it, get that. Okay. Yeah, that one's not bad. I guess it was the other one. That one's fine. A little bit, not a lot though. Cool. Happy with that. All right. So that solid side, back, all that. So this guy's done. So we've successfully cleaned it, but now we gotta test it. So what we'll do is we'll just monkey around on the ps4 for like two minutes and call it a night just to make sure everything's cool what i'll do is i'll boot up fifa and i'll just do some you know use canned air to flush it don't use canned air canned air pushes everything deeper in so think about if you have a bunch of dirt sitting on something and you just blow it deeper inside you can't see it so it looks clean but you've just pushed it into problem areas so don't do canned air for that reason what I do is I use stuff that has any sort of ability to grip it and pull it out. So rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip will actually trap the dirt, remove it out. So that's what you wanna do. You don't wanna have your dirt sitting in there and just pushing it and pushing it deeper. So that's not gonna be what you're gonna to wanna to go for. Discard. <laughs> so that's what we got. But yeah, and again, just Q-tips, the rubbing alcohol, toothpicks. It doesn't cost a lot to be able to get stuff working good, and it lasts you so much longer. And I'll kind of show you guys my little thing um, that I use to clean everything. So here's my, here's my thing. So I have my microfiber cloths. I have toothpaste that I use to clean discs. I have the rubbing alcohol. I have a nail polish remover I think should work, but don't quote me on that. I have batteries for things that need them. I have toothbrushes to get in the grooves of consoles. I have some of the um, toothpicks. I have Q-tips. And yeah, that's my little thing. Get the sticky drinks out. I'm actually not sure. I'm not fully sure. So, I'll show you guys the eBay room real quick. So we're gonna take this to the eBay room. Put this up. So that is up there. Um, but yeah, this is where all my inventory is. So these are games, PS2 games, Xbox One games, um, empty things for games that I can put in there, my cleaning kit and whatnot. And here's some extra stuff like 
cords, controllers, all kinds of stuff. There's only room for one tucker here. Yeah. Okay. So let's test it. Let's see how it does. Oh, I'm on 21%. My phone's about to be like, you're on 20% battery, bro. Oh, I hate it. So, take this over. I'm surprised my headache's not as bad, but I know it's not gone. I can still feel it. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera and we're gonna turn on this. And for this, I'll use my charging cable and I also will fully charge this so I always fully charge any you know controller that someone gets I'm not about to give someone a controller with no battery that's annoying again all stuff that people probably don't realize or care about but to me it matters do we have the same carpet Eh, come on. Try and do this one handed. There we go. We've done it. Alright. So now we have our phone plugged in. <laughs> so you see, it is plugged in, which is good. So, what I want to do is I want to flip it. Oh, wait, I have my HDMI in the back of this. That's why I was wondering why that wasn't going. Let me put this in the back. There we go. That'll do it. Yeah. So see, nice and working. Put that. And you can see, here, let me unplug it, see how much charge it has. So it's got two thirds of a battery, which is good. So I'm gonna leave this plugging, plugging, charging, plugged in and charging overnight. So we're just gonna start this real quick, just to make sure all the buttons work. But in the meantime, we know that we have an astute observer. I am done cleaning the controller. So these feel great. These feel great. Oh, that's right. I was wondering. I was like, uh-oh. Yep. And then we'll hit circle that. Yeah, but I'm going to bed because I could be up at 5 in the morning. So I'm just going to leave this on in the background. So I know X, circle, triangle, square. These all feel good. Nothing's feeling weird. X is skipped, it's fine. So, so here's what I want. I want R1. That feels good. Nothing's sticking there. L1, nothing's sticking there. Yeah, don't worry. I'll post this on um, the YouTube if you want to watch it. And then we'll go. Get Madden 23, get 2K23, you're poor. I don't play games, homie. I just sell them. So, I'm gonna check to make sure everything looks like it should. So, everything's moving how it should. I'm happy with it. There's no drift or anything. So, now I'm gonna hit R1 a bunch. We can do that, it's good. I'll do L2 and then R1 so we juggles. That, so I know that works. R2, I'm not doing it. Now I'm doing it so we know it works. He's sprinting, which is great. So triangle's a through ball, pass on the ground. Perfect. For sure. Circle is a shot. Cool. That looks great.
Uh, I think it's FIFA 21. So that was... What button was that? I want to do X, pass. Yeah, so that works fine. Yeah, you can clean to PS4. And squares, cross. So that's perfect. So every button works. Share button. Yep, that works. Options button. There we go. Options button works. Cool. So everything looks good. Um, I'm happy with it. Oh, wait. I do want to... Even R3 I test. So that's working good. So we're good. <laughs> but, yeah. That's kind of what I... Uh, what I got figured out. And I feel good about this. So we'll see how long this takes to fully charge. Um, I'm going to jump a shower. And then if I still have issues um, with it not being fully charged, I'm going to leave it overnight. But if it's fully charged, I'll shut everything down. Um, but that's where we're at, man. So I'm pretty happy with that. That is the clean, finished product. Everything. See, I got in all the grooves, crevices, the sides, all that. So, yeah. Looks good to me. Got the inside cleaned up too. It's holding charge. Nice clean areas to be able to take it apart if you need to. And yeah, I think we are ready to be done. So this will be up on YouTube once it's done, uh, buffering and all that stuff. And I'm able to get it um, fully downloaded and everything. I need to get up early tomorrow, so I won't be able to do tomorrow. Um, or I'm sorry, tonight most likely. Um, no, I'm not working out before tomorrow. I'm getting up at five in the morning. Um, and I got a pretty, uh, pretty bad headache right now. So I'm gonna go to sleep. And, um, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll get going. I got the rental car right now, so I didn't want to go anywhere or do anything. So I figured this might be a good thing to do instead. Um, but yeah, I'll get this, I'll get this put in the, in the bag, Sean, and you should be good to go, man. So, I buy most of them on uh, Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp. So, that's what we got. Yeah, and please don't do anything about um, politics or anything like that. I don't, I don't rock with talking about politics, and I don't do politics. Just relax. Enjoy everything. But, alright y'all. I hope everyone has a good night. And I'll probably be live again at some point. Um... If you want to know when that is, in my bio, there's a link to the Discord. You can join that. You can mute the general chat if you want. And then there's just a live notification thing that'll ping you if I go live. So I'll be like, hey, I'm live. I'm doing this. So you'll know what I'm doing. you know when I'm live. So um, that's what we got. But I'm going to sign off. And um, if you're curious about some of these in the future too, I have two more I still need to clean. So I have a video up for how to clean an original PS4. I'll have one up of how to clean a slim. Um, and someone's already bought this controller we saw and the console from yesterday. Um, however, I will have another original console and I'll have a slim console available for sale. So those will be up on the eBay if you guys want those or anything. Feel free to check that out. Everything's in the bio. All right, y'all. Have a good night.